All right, guys, I just want to share this with you real quick. I got another letter in the post. It's from Dan over at Wheels Dan. Um, sent me a couple decals, his calling card, and a nice little letter. Um, you guys need to go check this guy out. Um, he does wood turning. He does metal work. He does flat work. He does bicycle racing. He does wheelchair racing. He does all kinds of crazy stuff. You need to go check him out. Anyway, thank you, Dan. I'm going to proudly post your decal up here. Danny over at Wheels Dance. I'll put a link above and below. Check them out, you won't be disappointed. All right, guys, I'm going to try to make a feature ring. I made a little prototype here. It's just going to be 45 degree angles. In, and I'm going to do a purple heart and a yellow heart. And it's going to kind of look like that. And what I'm going to do is put a strip of walnut on top. It should be pretty cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to make a feature ring. And then I'm going to add it to a vase. My wife wants a, like kind of a taller milk jug kind of thing looking. But anyway, so first thing I'm gonna do is rip these down in half. So let's go ahead and get that done. On my prototype, what I did is I attached this fence, I set the uh, saw at 45, and I would cut a 45, flip it, bump it up against there, cut another 45, and that's how I got my size, and it worked out pretty well. So that's what I'm going to do with this. Hopefully, it'll work. So here we go. According to my handy dandy chart, chart, if I'm going to cut 15 degree angles, which will give me 12 segments, and I'm going to want around a 10 inch ring, they have each, each segment has to be 2.68. So that is. About that long. So how many actual segments will I need? How many actual? Pieces will I need? All right, so I want a, a start and end. Oh, this one took a hit, it looks like. I want to start and end with the the light color. So that should be long enough. So I'm gonna I'm gonna glue them up like this: two purple hearts and three yellow hearts. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning them up and gluing them together. All right, I'm gonna show you how I do one. And then it's just repeating myself over and over. So I'm just going to knock off the burrs.
I'm going to use a what they call a rub joint. So you're going to just go ahead and make sure your glue is all over. Rub it back and forth till you feel it getting tacky. Press. Try to line it up and then let it dry. I'm gonna glue this in two separate parts here. So what I'll do is I'll let that dry, then I'll glue that piece in there. So I'll bring you back when that's dry. All right, it's not totally dry, but I think it's dry enough where I could do that and that. Just gonna clean this edge a little. So there you have it. I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna go ahead and do all of these the same way. And I'll bring you back when they're all dry. All right, these are been drying about an hour and a half. Uh, I think they're dry enough where I could start cleaning them up. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them on the sander there and start cleaning them up. That's gonna be my next step. I got these all cleaned up. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna transfer a square line from the tip of that to there. I have this set at 15 degrees. Transfer that angle there. And there. Then we'll go over to the chop box. Okay, here's an absolute horrible drawing of those segments I just made. I just want to explain in a little more detail of how I cut the 15 degree angle. Um, what I did was I just picked up this corner here of the lighter color wood and I squared off of here 90 degrees. I picked up this corner 90 degrees and then I did a 15 degree angle here. 
coming inward. So when I when I put it on the chop box, I have the laser light. So I have this 90 degree line. So I was able to bring the laser light right up to here. And then I know I was cutting right on that corner. And it and it very surprisingly came out very accurately. So I cut this on the uh, chop box and I am quite pleasantly surprised that it's lining up very well. Uh, this is just dry clamped. I'm gonna take it apart and actually clamp it. I'm actually glue it, but I am very pleased. So let's go ahead and glue this up. Alright guys, this is all glued up. I'm going to wait for it to dry, give it a couple hours to dry, just so I can unclamp it and then show you the, show you the pattern. So I'll bring you back when it's all dry. All right, it's been a couple hours. Should be dry enough to unclamp. I'll give you an idea of what the pattern's gonna look like. It really looks pretty sharp to me. Looks great. Can't wait to get this onto a vessel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please click that little bell if you haven't so you can see me attach this to a, a, a vessel. And uh, don't forget to check out Dan at Wheels Dan. I'll leave his uh, stuff down below. I really like it. It looks great. All right, have a good day. Shut up and sit down.